Phoenix forgoes some lake mead water. Phoenix officials said they're doing their part to shore up the plummeting water level in Lake Mead by leaving 14,000 acre feet of Colorado River water there and looking for alternative sources. The city could get as much as $7.8 million in return to the action, which is part of the so called 500 plus plan. The plan involves pledges by Arizona, California, Nevada, and the federal government to conserve an extra 500,000 acre feet or more through 2026 to try and save shrinking Lake Mead through a variety of strategies. However, since the time when the plan was agreed to, California has recently declared it cannot meet its 2022 contribution. Phoenix City Council's approval of the measure on July 1 came within days after a World War II era Higgins landing craft surfaced. The boat had been 185 feet below the lake's surface, which has been dropping at a rate that surprised and alarmed federal environmental officials that an acre foot is the amount of water necessary to flood one acre of land to a depth of one foot and roughly equals 326,000 gallons, the amount used by about 3.5 Arizona homes over a year. The Gila River Indian community, Tucson and other communities have also pledged to make contributions to the 500-plus plan. Mayor Kate Gallego thanked GRIC Governor Stephen Rowe Lewis for bringing stakeholders together, partly to make up for what California can't deliver this year. In this time of extreme drought, it is not easy to convince governments to leave water behind, she said. However, I believe we are all acutely focused on what it will take to help Arizona communities thrive for the long term. In Phoenix, that means we make reasonable sacrifices now, to ensure we can continue to welcome people who want to live here, as well as the businesses that want to set up shop here. Phoenix last month launched the Phase 1 Water Altar of its Water Management Plan, which calls for intensified efforts to education citizens on the need to conserve water. The city also is undertaking new efforts to conserve water by making water efficiency improvements at city facilities. The alert does not impose any mandates on households or other water customers, it is also true that cities and Indian communities cannot solve this issue on our own, Gallego said. We need to see proportional action across sectors, particularly agriculture, which uses 70% of available Colorado River water. Phoenix made its first contribution to the 500-plus plan in January, committing to forego delivery of another 16,000 acre-feet. The money it receives in return for the contribution will be used to help purchase water from other sources and fund conservation programs. The City of Phoenix has been working for years to prepare for and deal with the extended drought, the city said in a release. Water users in Phoenix consume 30% less water per capita than they did 30 years ago, even as the city has experienced dramatic population growth over the same period. 